Hello, my name is Mama Arif Lukman from Section 1 and today I will show how to design and develop an ACDC power supply using center tap configuration. So first of all, we need to use this breadboard and then we need to have an oscilloscope and we need to have three of them so why we need to have three of them because one for the full wave and the second one for the for the wave after the capacitors and the third one is after the regulator next we will use this function generator and set the DC offset by 0 and the function is sine next we need to have two diodes for this center tap configuration and it need to be forward bias next we need to use this zener diode and also resistor and we need two of them one is two next we use this capacitor so now that wiring this circuit so for the first one we need to connect this negative positive to the after the capacitance and the positives before the capacitance so this oscilloscope will show the wave after the capacitor next we connect this resistance to the zener diode and then resistance to the ground then we need to connect this to the function generator and then for the negative side use to connect this one write this and then for the third oscilloscope for after the regulations this is how we are going to connect the wires basically this is after the resistance and the last ones for the first oscilloscope which will directly connect to the function generator and then for the capacitor we actually we need to for the temporary divisions I think that maybe we can use two milliseconds so let's try with two milliseconds first okay it doesn't work so let's use one microfarad so let's see if it can so it does work so that's how we make this ACDC power supply using the center tap configurations so that's all for me thank you